Check in, one, two, one, two. Sort of the power escapades where we take you on adventures. <laughs> <laughs> we have just arrived at um, a little place called Roy Duck Ace, uh, which is on a farm called Allo Canyons. And how's this for the view? And that view. So, this here is going to be our home for the next three days. Uh, Three days? Two days? Two nights? I don't know. Let's go in and have a look. See. Everything that we could apparently want is here. Welcome home, Bear, for the next two days. The, um, the spring buck down there and if I move off to the left let's see if I can find them straight ahead I see the eland the plan is um Apparently, just at about sunset, the owners of the property will come around um, and you'll notice that there are some black containers lying on the ground here behind us. 
the owners are going to bring some feed and hopefully all those buck uh, will come up here and we'll get some awesome footage of them uh, having their nighttime snack. So the owners have just put food out uh, down there and you can see all the buck uh, coming in but it is absolutely amazing just to sit here and listen uh, to them walking in. These things are majestic creatures, they are absolutely beautiful and until you're this close you don't realize how big they are. Not every day that you get to stand this close to these eland and just see them, watch them, hear them. When they walk, it's incredible. It's almost like, it almost sounds like chains being dragged on the ground. That's the kind of crunchy noise that comes through, but incredible. Hey bear, Hello. what you got cooking here? <laughs> I don't know, I'm really making cookie, I'm really making braai What's a braai <coughs> um, It's a toasty, that you make on the fire, but you have to That's have quite a vicious knife you've got going there. Because it's how important it is. You have to have <laughs> chutney on a braai Because of that chutney, it ain't no braai brookie. That's what a bright break is. Looking good. So basically what we'll do is you make this almost like a toasted sandwich. Uh, but instead of it making in a snackwich machine or anything like that, you stick it on the on the uh, on the fire and uh, you make it there. So it gets all that lack of flavour coming through from the wood. Looking good, baby. <laughs> So, um, I know you can't see me so well, but he has our bright breakies. So, um, pretty much you make it like you would uh, some toast with some cheese and whatever else on, but um, here it is on the coals. So, if we flip it over, slowly but surely it's starting to brown, and then you eat it like a toasty. It's going to be fabulous.